Hi, I'm Miss Susan. And I'm Miss Rosemary. Welcome, Welcome to Virtual Mini Math, Math Monsters. Monsters. So today, I'm going to talk about measuring time, and Miss Susan is going to make a paper clock. So grab the kit that you picked up at the Children's Services desk, and let's get started. So in your clock kit, we're going to have all these pictures of different clock faces with different times. So we can just leave them on the different sheets if you want. And on the bottom, on, well the fourth sheet, we'll have the different times that these clock faces represent. For just the sake of an example, I cut mine out and put them on some construction paper and I also cut out all the different times. So what you will do is you'll grab let's say 220, and you'll match up the 220 with the actual 220 clock face. So you'll get to do all of them like that and have lots of fun matching up the, the times with the clock face time. So also included in your kit will be a couple of these time telling Legos. You'll have the small one, which actually shows the time. This, this one is 215. The next one, will say a quarter after two is another way of saying 215. Another way of saying 215 is 45 minutes to three. So all of these would equal 215. So what you will have, you'll take them apart and you'll have to grab a small one. So I'm gonna take 1230. And another way to say 1230 is a half past 12. So we're just gonna Move that one there. And another way to say 12.30 is 30 minutes to one. So then you can just put them together and there is one set of your time-telling Legos. So then you would just do the other sets also. Have fun with it. Also in your kit is the paper clock and the accessories to make it. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. First you would cut Cut your clock out. I already have one cut out. And you also need to cut your arms for your clock, your short hand and your long hand, or long arm, long hand, I guess it's hands. So I've got the clock cut out. You're gonna take the brad that's inside your kit and you wanna place the long hand underneath the short hand. The short hand should always be on top. And then you want to put it in through the hole. There will be a hole in the center of the paper. I'm not, sorry, not a hole, a line to put your hole in. We already pre-cut, pre-punched holes for the brads to fit through because we knew you wouldn't have a small enough hole for that. But this, you're just gonna punch it through by hand with your brad. So the brad's gonna have a point on it. Mine's been opened so many times, there. You're just gonna fit it through your hole, flip it over, and spread the arms of the brad apart, just like that. Now these already have their magnets, so all you would do is this won't come that way. You're going to get these in your kit, your um, magnets, and they're self-adhesive, so you'll just take the little piece of paper off the back like that and then stick it on. And that's optional. You can put the magnets on so that you can put on the fridge. And one of the things that's nice with these clocks is you can practice telling time. So if mom says dinner's at 545, you can say, oh, I know how to tell that time. And then you can just set up the clock and show her what 545 is. Now what's nice about this clock face, it's different than the ones we've used in the past, it actually indicates five minutes after the hour, 10 minutes, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. So you can see if you have dinner at 5.45, the long arm, the long hand needs to be on 45, and your short hand, which is your hour, that tells your hours, goes a little bit, almost to six o'clock, because by this point in time, at 45 minutes after the hour, your, your short hand will almost be at six, because as this arm goes around, 
the short arm meets up with six o'clock. Just like that. So then that's six o'clock. And you can practice telling other times. Time that you have to get ready to go to school. Time that you have to get ready to go to bed. Time to do your homework. Time for meals. You can practice all of that on your clock. And put it right on the fridge to do that. I hope you had as much fun as we did today. We'll be back next month to learn about money. So be sure to register and pick up your kit for next month. See you next time. Bye. Bye.